Imagine a tiny point of light in this medium. From this point, light waves spread out in all directions at the same speed. After a little time, each of these waves has traveled the same distance, forming a smooth, curved shape in space. We call this imaginary surface a wavefront. Think about the ripples you see when you drop a stone into water. That's a simple 2D example of a wavefront. But light waves move in 3D. Wavefronts can take different shapes depending on the light source. If the light comes from a point source, the wavefront is spherical, like a bubble expanding in space. If the light comes from a linear source, like a long filament, the wavefront forms a cylindrical shape. And if the light source is really, really far away like the sun, those wavefronts appear flat, and we call them plane wavefronts. So, what exactly is Huygens' principle? It's a way to predict where a wavefront will move next. Huygens gave us two key ideas. One, every point on a wavefront acts like a tiny new wave source, creating secondary wavelets that spread out in all directions. Two, these secondary wavelets combine to form a new wavefront. Let's picture this. Imagine a wavefront moving forward. Every little point on it starts producing tiny new waves. After some time, all those tiny waves add up and form a brand new wavefront. That's how light keeps moving forward, step by step. 